Good day, my little robins. It's me, Beth. Another week has passed, which means you get another video from, well, me. And apologies for not uploading, you know, last week. I was really busy and I just did not have time, you know, to film anything. So, you know, I'm making it up by actually filming and uploading, you know, this week. If you haven't already read the title of the video, today I'm going to be reacting to your Wattpad comments. Yes, I know this is a little bit different, you know, to my music reviews or my music reactions. But some of my most popular videos on this channel revolve around the world of fanfiction because I write fanfiction on Wattpad and Tumblr. Apologies for the noise in the background. I think the caretaker in like the apartment, like the flat block I live in, is doing something outside my window. But I promised you guys a video. It's a Monday. I'm gonna give you guys a video. Anyway, it's pretty self-explanatory. I have scrolled through my Wattpad comment section and I have found some, you know, comments that, you know, either perked my interest or just made me think, why the hell do you write this? So I'm going to be delving in. I'll put like a little thing, little caption, so, you know, you can check out the person if you want on Wattpad. It's up to you. Before we begin, if you want to support me and the channel, you can by clicking like to show me some love. You can smash that subscribe button because nothing's stopping you and I upload weekly. But let's just dive right into this reading Wattpad comments video. The first comment is from Love Jared Way Moans. Great username, and it is dot dot dot. Thank you. And all I can say in response is, you're welcome. I have no idea what you are thanking me for, but you're welcome because I must have done something right. The next comment comes from 111111, a lot of A's, 12345, it will appear here, and it was on one of my Hollywood Undead fan fictions, and it is Aaron, I will kill you with a spoon. Wow, like, and it's in all caps as well, which means the person is serious, like, damn, if I'm gonna kill someone, I am not using a spoon, although there is that really old YouTube video, you know, that's gone around, it's resurfaced recently, you know, with the guy who's being, like, tracked down and, like, hunted by someone that, you know, keeps hitting him with a spoon until he gets, you know, beaten to death with a spoon, so I guess it's plausible, but I just love it. It's like, I will kill you with a spoon! You're probably never gonna meet Aaron, so you probably will never get to beat him to death with a spoon. The next comment comes from one of my Jacksepticeye fanfics, and it is by Shauna Wilson 373 and again, it's in all caps, which means they're serious, and it's they are gonna hurt the coffee bean. No! And the reason I say, like, I said no, like that, and like, no! Because they spelt it N and then a ton of U's after it. I don't know, you know, if that's kid slang or, you know, the youth being the youth of today, but that's not how I spell no, but good on you. No! I just love saying it that way. The next comment comes from Never Let Go, and it is on the same Jacksepticeye fanfiction, and it is, this is so cool, it has drama, and just, wow, and then, you know, three faces with it, like, and then, again, sorry if that freaked you out, I'm just, I'm just doing what the comment says, and the wow is in all capitals, which makes me just think of, wow, which is an Owen Wilson meme, go check it out. I like that, this is so cool and it has drama. If I'm writing a fan fiction, I make sure it's cool, I make sure it has drama, and I make sure it makes people go, wow. The reason this next comment made it onto this video is because it made me chuckle and actually made me spit out some of the drink I was drinking when I was going through this, and it is from Miss Perry Soto. And I have a believe I believe it's off one of my Parentes fan fictions, which is Tony Perry and Mike Parentes from Pierce the Veil. Vale. And it is when in doubt, grab a dildo and smack him out. And I was just there, like I was drinking, and I was like, grab a dildo and smack him out. And my like drink went everywhere. I think I was drinking apple tizer. I love apple tizer, and I was ash it was a shame to waste it. But when in doubt, grab a dildo and smack him out. I want to ask Miss Perry Soto, why do you have a dildo lying around? And have you ever smacked someone out with it? Because 
that would put a whole new meaning, you know, like if a Disney film did that, because you know in Tangled it was the frying pan and she like smacked him with a frying pan. Imagine like a Disney film where the princess, you know, just grabs a dildo and just like smacks someone across the face with it. That would be like an R-rated Disney film and I would watch it. The next comment comes from Spaceboy716 and it's just two emojis and it is the smug face and then like the water, like the two little water drops. And I actually can't remember what fan fiction this is off, but I have a feeling it's off one of my smuttier fan fictions. So the fact that, you know, they've got their eyes shut, the smug face and the water makes me think they are doing something very inappropriate and they couldn't write it out, so they did it in emojis. Apparently my fan fictions will make you wet and give you some satisfaction. Pat myself on the back for that one. Again, Spaceboy716, you had a couple of good comments, which is why you've got two in a row, and it is, oof, the lack of commas. Okay, I understand. I'm not that great at putting commas into my story. In my defence, though, it is on a story that I wrote either end of 2016, start of 2017, and that was before I actually got, you know, grammar software on my, you know, computer, which actually does all my grammar for me. I do mean to go back and eventually, you know, re-edit some of them, but seriously, yes, I know, a lack of commas, grammar Nazi. You know, the chapter before, you know, you were getting off on it, but now you're just like, oh, I can't get off on it anymore. Those commas, ugh. I, commas are always something that I struggled with, even in school. I just, I either put too many commas or, in this case, a lack of commas. Come at me commas. And the final comment in this video is from Totally Fanfic 167 and it is, this can't happen author Samma, don't play with me. I'm gonna be honest, you know, Totally Fanfic, I don't want to play with you. I never want to play with anybody. I prefer my own company. Yeah, that's just how I'm ending this video. So there we have it, guys and girls of the internet. That was just my reacting to Wattpad comment, you know, part one. I really enjoyed some of those comments. If you, you know, want me to, you know, react to some of your comments, you know, in the future videos, then go over to Wattpad and follow me, MediaGirl94. I'll leave a link in the description box below and comment the hell out of my stories because you might get, you know, in one of these videos. It will also up my rankings on Wattpad and I'll, you know, be higher on recommendations, so do me a favour. In the comments below, do you guys like fanfiction? Do you write it? What are some of the most cringy comments you have ever commented on a fanfiction? Start a conversation. Why, down there you can check out all the links to my social media because why the hell not? Nothing is stopping you. You know what? Why you down there? Click that like to show me some love. And you can click my face right here to subscribe to the channel because I upload weekly on a Monday and a Friday except last week where I went, you know, a bit off the rails. You can check out my last two videos or playlists right here depending on what mood I'm in when I'm editing this. Anyway, whew, until next time, I am Beth. Keep reading fanfiction. Goodbye.